going to show you the web client. So I'm just going to go down and I'm going to open up regular Internet Explorer. So I'm just going to click on Internet Explorer. It's going to open up and I get my, this is a demonstration company, even, even when I do this on the web client, I'm going to click OK. It's just telling me I'm in a demo system. And now here we have the role center. If you can notice, the role center looks a lot like it does in the RTC. And you know we have sales orders, we have the different tabs up at the top, et cetera. And the only thing that's missing is some graphics. So uh, I know that I've worked with other web clients in the past, and they've looked a little funky, that they haven't had great responses. If you can look as I click through this, um, it's got great responsiveness. And again, this is even running on a beta. And I'm just going to go into sales orders. It's going to it's going to show my sales orders. I'm going to click on view. It's going to bring up sales orders. And it looks a lot like it did in the RTC. And just to show, I'm going to go enter a new sales order just to show you how responsive the the new uh, the new client is. So as I go new, it's just going to bring me to a new sales order. And again, this is in regular Internet Explorer. And I'm going to go, and it's going to auto number. And I'm just going to do a drill down and look up my customer numbers, and it's going to give me my customer list. And I can do a filter or search right here, or I can just pick the customer that I want. And it just fills in the, the header as it normally does. I'm going to go and I'm going to click on item. I'm going to click and I'm going to click item for my drop down list. And then I'm going to just go over to the item number, and I'm going to do a drill down on the number, or look up on the number, and pick what item number I want on here. Just as simple as entering it in the regular client. I'm going to type in the quantity. I want 10 of these. Of course, like of course, I don't have them in inventory, right? So it's giving me my inventory worn out warning screen, just like it's supposed to. I'm going to click yes. I'm going to take this order, even though I don't have any in the back, uh, which I'm sure never happens to anybody else. <laughs> I'm going to release this sales order with a click of a button, and you can see the status underneath switches from open to release. Just like that, I, I can, I've created a sales order in my web client. And the great thing about the web client is you can use it without, you can access NAV remotely without using Citrix or Terminal Server. Um, I'm going to go to order confirmation. And just to show you, I can, I can open as a PDF, print to PDF, preview it, or print to a regular, um, regular printer. And this is the order confirmation. So this just is a printed, uh, printed document of the order. And it just would be something we could print out if we were remote through the web client. And this is just, just to give you some of the idea how, how robust the web client is. It, ru running it from the Internet Explorer is almost just the same as running it from the, the, the Roll Taylor Windows client. And I can just go. I'm going to go to report the customer top 10 list. I'm going to click on the top 10 list. Well, let's just uh, show. Here I have, I have sales by local currency. I have bar chart or pie chart. I'll keep it on bar chart. I'm going to preview. I, again, I can open it as a PV, PDF. In this case, I want to preview it. And, and it's going to show my report by top 10 list. And actually, on here, I have a chart. So even through the web client, I can print these pretty charts. This is a special report. This is written through SQL reporting services. As you can see, uh, I'm, I'm sorted by, by sales. So I have these two little uh, up and down arrow keys. And as I hit those up and down arrow keys, you can see I changed the sorting of the report on the fly. I can do that by any of these columns. I can change the sorting of the report on the fly. So there I did it by name, and now everything is ordered by name. So with, with some of these new features and functions, it opens up new reporting functionality that hasn't been there previously. Now, that, that's the web client. And again, the important thing to understand about the web client is when you install NAV and you have remote users, you can have them access. In the, in the past, we've had remote access. It's been through Citrix and Terminal Server uh, most often. And that takes a lot of setup on the back end. That takes a special client. With NAV, with the, the web client for NAV, you can use the web client and access it from anywhere. Obviously, you need your, your login and, and, the, and the proper security. But if you're at an airport kiosk, if you're traveling, you have your laptop or your home, you can log in with it, just any net Internet Explorer. You have to, you just log in. You type in the URL to to, to, that, to your system. Um, you just click on that or enter it into the, the address. You log in. Of course, you obviously need to log in with your security. And boom, you have the web client in front of you that you can use to access NAV. And again, I'm very impressed with the web client. Other web clients I've used uh, for other products have been slow and bulky. So as we saw, the web client is very, very responsive. Everything happened very quickly, and, and it's 
got great functionality. Very, very cool.